guys what's going on brian back with another video and today guys we'll be doing a video on how to fight ferals i'll be going over a couple different methods that you guys can use to deal with ferals i know a lot of people have problems with them so if you guys are new to the channel hey please subscribe and enjoy guys sit back and i uh, hope you guys learn something all right guys so the first thing about ferals that you want to learn uh, to make it easier to fight them is their attack patterns and how like how they move now if you can see here guys you generally when you get jumped by a feral um, they'll catch you off guard but as you see what I'm doing right here it's extremely easy to keep them off of you um, if you just let them run at you and then just dodge through them um, it gives you the best situation where they because ferals run in a straight line at you as you can see right here they just straight line you and you can just dodge through them it gives you a chance to line up your shots um, to create space because the last thing you want to do is be stuck in real, real close quarters with them. Um, but as you guys see, it's real easy. I'm not using a lot of stamina. Um, and here you can even just hit the regular dodge button and you'll still, he'll still pass through you. Um, so that's the main thing is if you do get jumped by a feral, just try to calm down and um, just m create space. That's the first thing you want to do is uh, create space. All right, guys. Now the next thing here is I slowed it down so you guys can see, but the next thing you want to understand is a feral's attack pattern. Now, generally what happens is they'll jump backwards while you're hitting them. If you're hitting them in melee, as you can see, I'm hitting this feral. He jumps back right here. Now, this is the main attack that gets people, is the feral will leap at you, and he'll swipe three times. And all you have to do, guys, is you have to just double dodge. Just jump back, and that creates enough attack space for you to avoid the attack completely and once you create that space i took a hit there because I, I popped a snack but on, once you create that space then you can just continue hitting them guys and they generally collapse pretty easily now another thing that can happen guys which you get lucky sometimes depending on the weapon you use but sometimes you can catch a feral in like a stun lock almost like right here you'll see i'm just hitting him hitting him and he's not jumping back he's not doing anything he's uh He's stun locked. The only thing that's going to stop me is I run out of stamina, and then boom, now he's able to dodge back. But I just dodge his triple strike, dodge his single strike, and then I go right back to hitting him, and then he's done. Now, this is an example of where I don't lose the stun lock, and I keep him locked the whole time, guys. Now, this can happen every now and again. Um, so when you do hit him, just, just keep swinging until they break out, and then just watch for either the single attack or... Or the double or the triple swipe, but in this case, he just got stun locked and was killed. All right, guys. So in this clip, last I was using a blunt weapon. Now this is me using a bladed weapon. Generally, um, the blunt weapons are really good because they have the potential to stun the ferals. But the bladed weapons, guys, they're pretty good. The only thing is they take a lot of durability damage, but they do kill the feral a lot faster than the blunt weapons do, as you can see there. I was able to stun lock them pretty easily. All right, guys, now there's two things in this clip that I want to show you. Now, this I switched to a blunt weapon that has a lot higher knockdown. This is the Dan Danforth Slugger. So it is a very, very good um, blunt weapon. Now, when I was telling you guys the blunt weapons have the potential to uh, stun the feral, that's what we'll be going over here. But here I also want to show you the feral has another counterattack that is very, very uh, hard to deal with sometimes. it's He'll just turn and tackle you like that. Um, that is kind of random. You don't really, there's really no way to tell he's going to do it until he's already in the animation. But, um, as you can see here, guys, I'm going to stun the feral and it allows you to just execute him. Um, so that is what makes this weapon so good or any blunt weapon with high knockdown. And here is just another example of how the, uh, knockdown effect works. Um, so if you guys are new to fighting ferals, especially melee, um, because this is not the ideal way, guys. The ideal way to fight a feral is see him before he sees you. Shoot him with some kind of long-range weapon. Um, crossbow, sniper rifle, anything of the sorts. But until you're comfortable with meleeing ferals, um, your best friend is distance. You just want to keep as much space as possible between you and the feral. But like I said, you want to see them before they see you. Shoot them with a long-range rifle with a scope or something that's quiet um there i missed my chance because i had no stamina uh to execute them but um yeah so you want to uh shoot them with something really long range or uh something extremely quiet 
Now, if you do lose your chance at range, the best weapon for a new player to use against a Feral is a shotgun. As you can see, I have a sh shotgun here. The thing about shotguns, guys, is they have um, the new cone effect is very, very effective against Ferals. As you can see there, you don't really have to have good aim. Um, you just have to get the Feral in the reticle, and then you just take your shot, guys. And it's generally always a kill. But that's when you want to use, like I showed you, the dodge through like that, which creates space. It allows you enough time to line up your shots, guys. So you can just take your time, aim at the Pharaoh, and then shoot. And he's dead. Now, so like I was saying, if you're a brand new player and not comfortable with Pharaohs, make sure you use shotguns. Now, the next thing, guys, is multi-feral targeting or multi-feral multi fighting. Um, the main thing you want to keep your eyes on when you're fighting more than one feral or even one feral is your stamina. Now, as you see there, guys, that if you get jumped by multiple ferals, the one thing you want to do is use fire or climb on something. Um, because as you guys see here, the fire will stop the ferals. It puts them in that roll animation and gives you a chance to line up your shots, take your time, and breathe. That way you're not just dealing with a ton of ferals on top of you it, it can get very very hectic so what i mean by hectic guys as you can see in this clip i have about six ferals coming at me um stamina is an issue guys because as soon as you run out of stamina they're going to get you um and if you have a slow firing weapon like a shotgun and you have multiple ferals on you and you just try to dodge and shotgun this is good about what's going to happen guys so you want to make sure if you get jumped by multiple ferals to use some type of flame or something to stun them or anything to keep them off you really guys see now in the case that i know there's multiple ferals that i have to fight i have a faster shooting weapon um even though my aim is pretty due to in this situation i uh i try to burn them i try to stun them like i showed you guys and then at that point you just want to take your shots um to try to keep keep them off you as best as you can so as you see there that was four ferals and with that one molotov and being able to stun them like that i was able to keep all the zombies or the ferals off me i was able to create enough space for me to go and uh take them out now here guys again is another situation with multi-feral um i don't do the best job here i take quite a few hits but in the end i don't die which triple feral generally is death for most players um but here I was just trying to dodge until I could get them grouped up nicely, which here I did where I could hit them with the Molotov. Now I got all three of them burning and rolling. I can create that space, and then now I can line them up and take my shots. Um, generally, uh, this is if you get caught off guard. Like here, I don't have prime feral fighting equipment, guys. Generally, I would want something uh, a little better, but with a pistol and a Molotov, you can do it. And here's a little bit cleaner of a kill. I get them uh, bunched up actually using the geometry of the map. Um, I was trying to take some quick shots, but I got them all lumped up there, hit them with the fire, get them all rolling, create space. And then, what, like I said, once you got your space, guys, then you can just, because they run straight line at you, um, you just take your shots, guys. Now, here's a not ideal situation, guys. I don't have, if you don't have fire, you know what I mean, um, but you have a high volume weapon that shoots a lot of ammo, you can just shoot the pharaohs. As you can see here, guys, you just put a lot of bullets in them. The first bullet will stun them, and then you line up the second bullet and you just hit them with a headshot. Now, for those of you who want to play Heartland or maybe are you're playing modded and you have here Plague Ferals in your game, guys, um, Plague Ferals are exactly like regular Ferals, except the fact they don't have the Ferals' main weakness, is which they die in one headshot. And Plague Ferals can infect you with Plague very quickly, guys, if you guys aren't careful and um, get caught off guard by one of their attacks, which I do in, uh, in one of these fights. As you can see how much damage they do and how much plague I took so quickly. All because I missed one uh, one attack. But um, there I was still able to stun them and they died just like regular ferals, guys. You can still stun them and kill them with the melee. So the main thing you want to watch out for, like I said, with the plague ferals is they just, they're, they're a lot more tanky because they have that thick skull. But their attack pattern, as you guys can see, they still do the triple. They do everything that regular ferals do. Um, it It's just they have... Uh, more armor on their heads. That That's literally it, guys. But the way you fight them is exactly the same, as you can see. Now, one of the cool things about Heartland, or even if you guys are playing modded, 
That, that right there, guys, is a Plague Buster. That will automatically stun and remove the armor off of Plague Pharaoh's head. And at that point, you can just one-tap him, or you can uh, you can go and fight him in melee either way. But once uh, the Plague Busters, guys, are not only used for Plague Walls, um, you can use them to kill Plague Juggernauts, Plague Zombies. They one-shot Plague Zombies. Um, they remove the armor off Plague Pharaohs. And uh, it takes like three or four of them to kill Plague Juggernauts. But in the case of a Plague Pharaoh, like I said, guys, it is uh, a really good thing if you want to remove the armor. All right, guys. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I hope you guys learned something. Like I said, ferals are a little tricky. Um, you just take your time. I think that's the main thing about ferals, guys. Being patient, taking your time, not rushing or panicking. And uh, generally, you, you, you'll be all right. Um, uh, another thing that we didn't touch on is ads. Like, as you can see, there's a ton of zombies around me, guys. If you have a feral in the situation, try to take care of everything else around the feral. Um, because all the zombies are going to do is... Because zombies aren't that big of a threat, but they're going to be a threat to your stamina. So what you want to do is deal with them first. Um, that way you can fight the feral. Try to get the feral one on one. That will put you in the best situation possible. But if not... Um, jump through a lot of windows and run, guys. Um, Feral will generally be able to keep up with you, but for the most part, you should be able to lose the zombies. Um, but let me know what you guys think. If you guys have any questions, uh, hit me up in the comments. Um, I'll be doing another one of these, trying to teach you guys how to fight juggernauts. Um, and I got some pretty cool things to show you guys there. So if you guys enjoyed the video, uh, let me give it a thumbs up. If you guys hated the video, hey, thumb it down. It's all good. Um, but if you guys are new to the channel and like what you saw, hey, please, guys, subscribe to the channel again. Uh, and I appreciate you guys for watching. Peace.